Hey guys, so a while ago y'all had asked me about how I take threads in Tinkercad for like screw top things like this. How I make those in Tinkercad and then import them into Nomad Sculpt because that is what I have been doing for the past couple years. But right around the time I was going to try and make that video, Nomad Sculpt actually came out with the capability to make threads in Nomad Sculpt, which me trying it for me it makes it so much easier in my brain. I really prefer it. But some people are still going to prefer Tinkercad. Go with that. But since I specialize in Nomad Sculpt, I like to keep as much of my work of my workflow in there as I can. So I'm going to figure out how to go in and show y'all how to do it this way instead, in case that is helpful to y'all. Okay, so we're going to open up a new file in Nomad. We're going to open with our circle as per usual, but we're going to hide that because I don't need that right now. Going to go over here to add go to the tube right there. And the tube, often you'll see me using it from over here, but it is very important to grab it from this over here and this add button, because it's gonna add it with it straight up and down, perfectly straight versus here, you know, you'll add a curve and all that. And it's important that it is straight in alignment. So we're gonna, whoops, have that. Go on these little three dots over here and the spiral feature right here is the new one. So we're gonna clap, tap on that. And then watch this. Woo, now it is spiraling. Let's make it smaller. Now we have a perfectly symmetrical spiral because that has been my problem with Nomad Sculpt with doing threads is that I can make a general spiral, but with threads, obviously they need to be exactly you know, precise and the same amount of curve, degree of curve around the whole thing. Otherwise it's not gonna work. So this will do that for you. And that's again why I don't make, whoops, sorry. That's why I make sure I don't touch these points because I don't want to curve this thread at all while I'm working on this. And this is, you notice our tube is still rounded, which we don't really want. So what you're gonna do next, you're gonna go to profile right here is you're going to go profile right here. And I already have a profile saved for this, but you see here, basically you're making different shapes out of your tube. I made a little triangle here, which then gives you what you would expect for the shape of a thread. And then we can go back to these little dots. And then basically you can just play around with the scale of it, the offset, the stretching it out how many twists you want to add to it, and play around with all that, which is a much more intuitive way for me to do this than to try and do it in Tinkercad. So that is how, and then I will usually go in and I'll add in a cylinder in the middle here to cover that hole. But, so we have this, let's say, We're gonna grab the cylinder, attach it up there. Imagine this is, you know, our corkscrew top. So then what do we do to add a body that we want to screw this into, right? Like we wanna add the top part. So that also, super easy, all you gotta do is click on this, clone it. We're going to go to blending and drop that opacity down. That allows us to see the difference that we are making when we're going to adjust this. And the best way to adjust this, I'm not gonna go in with just the gizmo because if I do that, see how when it gets bigger, it's uneven on all of those threads. So what I really wanna do is go into my tube tools and go back to this spiral section and go to the scale. I'm gonna slide that up just so I have one that is slightly bigger than my original. And with any type of threads, you're gonna have to like do a few test prints to make sure you got the tolerances right on that because tolerances, they need still need to be pretty tight to be able to have a smooth thread, but that's basically that. And then what I would do is I would take that thread that I just made that larger section, pull it into here. We're gonna hide it. I'm gonna select the cylinder, Boolean, 
up my resolution, voxel merge, and then that is cut out of that cylinder now, and we can screw that right in there. So that, that's literally it, it makes it so easy. I know like threads in Tinkercad are also easy, it's not a problem, but for me, just visually and helping my brain wrap around it in this style versus any type of CAD program just makes it easier on me and easier to just jump in and do this. So, and again, keeping my workflow in one place is best. So yeah, that is how we do that. And if I was going to finish these threads off, I really would actually validate this. Make sure that I am centered. And I would go in and I would cut off the top and bottom of these to make sure that, you know, I had a good solid place where my threads stop and go like, and you know, merging with the top however you want. But yeah, that is that. Hopefully that is helpful. This is literally the really new feature with one of the most recent updates with Nomad. And when I heard about it, I was so excited. I immediately went to go try it. So hopefully this is helpful to y'all to go make an experiment with your threads in Nomad. It's great. And I'll talk to y'all later.